Tough place to play the Mullen Center. UMass has won 36 straight on campus, second longest streak in the country to Indiana. 21 straight here at Mullen. Lineup for this afternoon's contest. Chris Robinson, look for him to do some things inside the junior out of Macon, Georgia. Leading scorer for the Hilltoppers. And Matt Kilcullen in his first head coaching job, second head coaching job, he was at Jacksonville last few years. He was the Sun Belt Coach of the Year just a year ago. For UMass, Derek Kellogg, how about him? He's got a 56 and 15 record as the starting point guard for the Minutemen. And John Calipari has built a kingdom, and he's got the appropriate deuce look this deuce afternoon. Well, the most important four minutes of the afternoon for Western Kentucky are the first four. Control, stay in, and prepare for the rest of the day. We expect to have a good time. Glad you're with us here at the Mullen Center. Tip off right after this. Hang in there. The Back here at the Mullen Center, ready to get it going. Western Kentucky against UMass. Our officials, Larry Limbo, Murph Shapiro, and Gene Manji. UMass will get first crack. Here's Kellogg. Western Kentucky Miniman, Dave. Mike Williams not shy from the get-go on a three. They are explosive. And full court pressure immediately. Back to Miniman. Miniman. Michael Fralix is a good matchup. Similar type players, Kellogg and Fralix. This is a good talent right here. Robinson on the baseline gets it blocked. Not bad, huh? Not Out of bad the game. Dante. Talk some more, Bill, about uh, why the first four minutes are so important to the Hilltop. Well, composure. On the road, you're stepping up. The top five team in the country. And a team that can guard as well as be explosive on the other end. Mike Williams with the steal leads to this possession. Kellogg is breaking right back. Mike Williams feeling it early. Missed iron there. Fralix comes up with it for Western Kentucky. An unrewarded kiss. Uh, uh, Right there, a terrific performer, Darren Horn. There's a steal by Rowe. Williams, the dish. Dante Bright pops and fires. Mike Williams rebound, going to the hole hard. And we got a foul. Mike Williams, let's talk to Mike. I said, Mike, are your pants long enough? He says, yeah, they're a little too long, to be honest with you. Uh, most neighborhoods, you might get locked up with the pants hanging around like that. This is good self-control, the pull-up jumper. And the kiss is not going down, but you can see the defense sets up so much for this basketball team. They are a great offensive rebounding team, as noted right there as Michael gathers. The foul was on Darren Horn, his first. Williams rattles the first one home. Mike set up the first three games of the season. Academic problems, hadn't been going to class. Darren Calipari disciplined him. And UMass, UMass didn't miss a beat without him. A, a minor problem, huh? Yes, indeed. In school. <laughs> but no, they, they're so deep in town. The Merlin game that down the stretch, Kellogg and Rowe out the last six minutes. The bench stepped up. Fralix got to get him organized, and this guy's a, a fellow that can knock down shots. <laughs> and the putback is scored nicely done by Darius Hall. And you've got to have a sigh of relief. If you're Matt Kilcullen over there, you got to get on the board and remain in contact this first four minutes. 4 2 UMass over Western Kentucky. Dante Bright inside. Dana Dingle. Very good without the ball, this club. See people, they're very unselfish. And Bright, good going to his left and shooting or finding others. Chris Robinson brings it up against Dana Dingle. Little screen to screener play. Horn being bothered by Williams. Williams with a foul on the grab. Just missed the ball. First foul against Mike. Well, it does show their tenacity. They do get after you. And a club like this, occasionally you might forget about defense because they've got so much talent on the other end. But John Calipari doesn't let them. They focus beautifully. They understand what the other team is trying to run. Edgar Padilla comes in for Mike Williams. Padilla has come on nicely. Mm. Sophomore out of Springfield, Mass. Real solid performer. Nice steal by Kellogg. The dish to Dingle. The defender never saw him. Uh, Chris Robinson. Robinson never saw him. He was looking for the shot. Nice dish by DK Kellogg. UMass really forcing the defensive pressure here. And a turnover as it goes off of Horn's leg. 
And Matt Kilcullen is over there trying to calm people down. You got to protect the basketball. Look at this pull up. And he does make the three. So you're looking for the shot and the slip by. Pretty look and delivery. Kellen talking about Kellogg says, we got to take him out of the game. And so far, they haven't done it yet. 8-2 UMass. And he beats you silently. That's why the steps is a little break. And Matt applauding. Freilich's got to get him organized and maybe untrack Robinson or Horn. And this team played at Ball State in a tough atmosphere and bounced and hung in and got away with a win. So this is much like that. Speaking of speed there, is Burke's ready to come in, Dave? Here's the pressure. They get it to Chris Robinson. Look at the close, though. They help. Wright comes over to assist Ingle. Got a little bump there on Padilla. The grab, the call by Larry Limbo. You mentioned Edgar coming in and a good outside shooter, a guy that moves without the ball, and terrific in playing the passing lanes. Oh, well, here comes Marcus Camby. Speaking of depth, Dante Bright will take a seat along with Kellogg. And now it will be tough to get the inside shots. You've got to become a jump shooting team. So how Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers, run their sets is important. Penetration. Loose ball, and here comes Andre Burks. The pull up and the hesitation almost put it down. Loose ball. Dingle comes up with it. You notice good teams come up with those? Amazing. An incredible offensive rebounding team. Camby, nice soft touch. Marcus Camby, the sophomore. And he's off to a great start this year. 6'11, 220, a sophomore out of Hartford. Well, the offense has been the problem for Western Kentucky. They could use some clock now. They got to get their legs under them. Nice screen down, sets up the open look. Horn, everybody in a UMass uniform around the ball on that one. 10 to UMass. And Luro sprinting the floor because he's then in offensive rebounding or duck in position. And look at the duck in by the big fella, Camby, as well. Bagel, get it back to Burks. He'll stack on the right side. The screen away for Rowe on the box. Row inside the turnaround had it partially blocked. Darius Hall got a piece of that one. Robinson gets a free one. And beat Lou Rowe, and Rowe got him on the head. A foul and a three-point opportunity for Chris Robinson. That could be the lift the Hilltoppers need. A little helicopter move, huh? And TV Lou Rowe unnecessarily gets involved, but you're looking for a lift when you're struggling. And that gets Western Kentucky a nice looking deuce, but this is a strong send it in. Van hip and all. And they feel he's like 90%. He's got the shoulder shrug. Hurt that hip had a little operation before the season. Yeah. Didn't start practicing until November 1. Matty was uh, Matt Kilkellen talking about uh, Chris Robinson. Figures he's about 85, 90 percent. Mm -hmm. And, and Matty saying some days you just sit back and watch him go. He takes over the practices and or games. And extending that concentration is the key for him being a really great player. Rattles the free throw in and out and a rebound for Western Kentucky. And the putback is good. Nicely done by Deion Jackson. Weathering the storm right now. Four minutes in, Bill. It's 10-6, so you got to feel pretty good they from the Western Kentucky perspective. Look at the help on the box, too. Mike Williams back in the game. Rowe has it taken by Hall. Western with numbers to the hole, and the score is made. Nice give up on the double on the post, uh, and this is a good defensive set. Jeff Rogers in the game, back up point guard. He's an igniter. And that time is the first time they really went down and doubled, so a little change of the look. Kellogg back in for UMass. Rowe will take the fade away. Missed everything. Horn, they got a breakout. Couldn't get it to Rogers. Nice pass. Well, it was in the reverse. Nicely done by Dion Jackson. The look by Darren Horn. Neon Dion sprinting down the floor, and they got a turnover as a yeah, uh, step in. Sure did. Dante Bright mm -hmm. stepped in. So it'll be Western Kentucky ball. Good start here from UMass, tied at 10 after Western was down big. We're right back. Well, Dave Sims, we've both been talking about how they go without the basketball. You see Kellogg initiating here the offense down to Dante Bright, but 
now the activity off the ball dingle there's a switch that occurs but the communication problem is lacking as Freilich steps up to play Kellogg and look who slips in dingle with an easy kiss at the end but the legs are there for Western Kentucky and a, not a good mistake by UMass on the inbounds Robinson with a quick pop nice rebound and the save he just missed keeping keeping it in Darius Hall an 8-0 run by the Hilltoppers. They were down 10-2 to start. And you mentioned the baseball look, the changing of the look. You can't throw a fastball or a curveball, so it's a passive pressure. And then the fallback. A nice trap at half court. They'll give you a lot of looks. Uh -huh. uh, there can be. Good quick pass there. Good ball moving against the pressure by UMass. Marcus was Parkus, and they got it to him. How to break the trap. Look up above. Robinson against Dingle to pull up from there. Good. Nicely done by Chris Robinson, leading score for the Hilltoppers at almost 17 points a game. And a nice chance for the country to see him. A very talented performer. Do a lot of screening for him. Pop out by Williams. Mike Williams. Great work. They're contesting that rebound. And they get C Rev. Chris Robinson on the foul. You saw that note, huh? Well, they've had some great ones at Western Kentucky, and the inside people are going to have to perform against this UMass team. They are outstanding on the glass, particularly going after misses. Robinson's first foul. Freilich's back in, number 14, and number 40, Derek Flowers. Back in for Matt Kilcullen. Just a second, Matty, a New Yorker. Of course, worked with Digger Phelps. Uh, fortunately, dresses his own style. Gamby in trouble. And Dante Bright takes it home strong. That's what this club does great. You try and mix it up. They slip to holes as well as anybody in the country. Good look, good finish. Mike Williams all over Jeff Rogers here. UMass, a couple weeks ago, number one in the country. Pull up by Rogers under pressure. And a rebound to Kellogg. Now this combination of backcourt will settle this club. Mike Williams. Looks good. Ball. See you later. And a foul. Good look on that pass to set up Camby. Camby can have one leg on the sideline, the other on the box. I mean, the wingspan, the leg span. But it's the, not true. the Rockettes at Christmas can't cover as much ground. But just terrific position, location here to the foul line or below. And look at the step to send it in. And he is an amazing talent. He's been with a few times, too, in a few years. And actually, he's put on a few since last year. And he listed at 220. Came in at about 200. He's got the quick feet in the post, and he gets involved. And he, fortunately for Camby, he was lucky. And now they get, they get another little elbow. Let's just hope Flowers down there doesn't get thrown out. Marcus Camby just the other night, Wednesday, against the Princeton Tigers. Tigers saw more than enough. 14 for 20 from the field, three blocks. He's got 15 blocks on the season. Still pretty ticked off. Would you call that taking the Ivy League to school? Yeah. That kind of game? Uh, Pete Carrill having to catch Pete a little hot under the collar. Hey, Pete got running that game. Yeah, and and they, they were impressive early. I think it was eight at halftime. That's right. Just as great depth in Camby. Too much. Dante Bright give and go with Dingle. Dingle a runner. Follow is good. That is Inus Norville who just came into the game. 6'8", 215 freshman. That's almost a pass off the glass the way this team attacks the glass. Fralix in trouble. Got hit. I'll say. 18-12 UMass over Western Kentucky inside of three minutes Great. to go. A nice looking runner by he, Jeff Rogers. He does that beautifully. Against Jacksonville, he did it a couple of times. They've got to solidify the backcourt. Calm everybody down. Dante Bright on the baseline. A foul on number 32, Darius Hall. Well, you've got to be physical with them and root them out, so that's a problem. And that kill coming up, suggesting to Gene Manji that they've got to play a little bit tough in there to keep these guys away. The problem with rotating and doubling against UMass, you don't get a body on a rebounder. 
First meeting between these two schools, Western Kentucky and UMass, two successful programs. Refs calming things down. Yeah. Got everybody at the foul line. Tempers. Well, a lot of a lot of athleticism on the on the part of Western Kentucky, and they're not going to back down from oh, no. UMass number five and a team that can bring it to you. And this is a good, you know, good contest. Both teams coming at you 100 miles an hour. And, and Matt said his guys love to step up. I mean, they like to have a contest. They're not going to back off at all. You're right. And the core of this club, too, they had a couple of impressive wins. They knocked out Seton Hall of the NCAA a couple mm -hmm. of years ago, won at Louisville. They've gotten it done the last few years. Of course, Matt Kilcullen taking over for Ralph Willard, who moved on to the University of Pittsburgh. Well, that looked like a five, huh? Sure did. It was close. And Matt feels they respond to challenge, and he attributes that to the way Willard recruited and coached. The thing they like about it, almost a steal by Horn. Did they give the extra pass here? Norville, yeah, a little too much. Used his size advantage and an offensive foul, his first. The other thing, too, that's been interesting about the transition from Willard to uh, Kilcullen, they play the exact same type of ball. Mm -hmm. The two New York guys, upbeat, let's go, let's make it happen. Now, in talking to John Robick, who does a lot of the tape work for UMass, he was saying he felt they're just a little bit more structured on the offensive end, but everything else is the same. Darren Horn, 18-14, UMass on top. Dribble drive right here. Knocked away, Williams with the steal. Numbers against him. And Rogers almost stole it back. Nice Go little UMass ball. Nice little gutsy return. And that the weave at the other end could do some damage if they could turn the corner. Good pursuit of the basketball. 10 against 10 right here. Padilla in the backcourt. Padilla and Williams, Bright, Camby, and Norville for UMass. Horn, Rogers, Camby turned, double team. Sure was. Norville's there. Norville goes up. He got hit. I think it might be Flowers on the reach in, but that's the pursuit of the pill that they possess. I mean, talk about getting breaks or the ball bouncing your way. They know how to get, they, they know how to get to the position. They also have that ability to sniff it out. Three fouls on Flowers, number 40, so he'll have to sit down. One of the key performers off the bench for Western Kentucky. Lou Rowe coming back in, as well as first appearance by number 44, fan favorite here at the Mullen Center, Rigoberto Nunez, and he will get things stirred up. Well, trying to stretch that bench a little more, huh? You better lace them up if you're on that bench. When Matt Kilcullen was telling me, Commissioner Craig Thompson, and the Sun Belt has himself a league. Southwest Louisiana, Marty Fletcher, Kelvin Price, and Chris Manuel, two six eight kids. And incidentally, Ron Arrow, they said, resigned. South Alabama coach this morning. Jacksonville, he said, don't mention Ar Artemis McClary. He said he just killed us the other day. <laughs> One of his kids that stayed at Jacksonville. And Wimp Sanson out there with Dixon, a new kid. Louisiana Tech just re recruited Cooper, a top 30. He selected Louisiana Tech over LSU. So uh, that lead. Sunbelt County. Mm -hmm. Stepping up. Horn from the corner. Can't get it. And Padilla comes out with it. Camby. Is that the guy you want leading the break? And yeah. he does a nice job and holds it up. He doesn't, he does not turn it over. He's got a very intelligent outlook. Step step. Off step. Took a step or two or three. Mm. I'll tell you what, they list him at 215. He looks bigger. Yeah, he'll fill the door going into the weight room. The <laughs> block <laughs> point game right now. UMass leads. We're back in a moment. Over they, the raptor, you don't look for Marcus Camby to do a lot of passing, but how about that? Well, this? when you're down and out, look up and scout. It's going to be a bright day. <laughs> Hidden, but finding some sunshine in Dante's right day great look and going without it something we talked about earlier come up with loose balls the good cut now watch this pass have a check to lucas in madison square garden <laughs> 1960 they go after it we both remember that <laughs> sad to say <laughs> yeah right don't, don't. they got an 800 year old guy to look mod on the deuce that's right that's right welcome to the try to <laughs> bill was didn't know what to do without his jacket <laughs> Robinson up top. Going to force him to put it on the floor left is one of their thoughts. Tough Pulls shot. Up. Sure was. Almost 
Got rebound Mike Williams. Got Munro up ahead. And Robinson saw that one coming. Pretty slide by. Oh, oh that's a God. big time move. Gorgeous, big league. Plant those pivot feet. Avoid and use the kiss. 11 minute mark, three point game. UMass on top. Stack look right now. Pop out to the corner. Mike Williams. Lou Rowe. Look at that. Lou Rowe goes up. And controlled by Robinson. Lou Rowe from the right town. Huh? Bright lights, Atlantic City. And Camby comes up with it. This ball bouncing all over the place. And Darren Horn tried to save it. Not much more he could do. Value the ball. Very important. Nunez. Turn around. Camby. Look at this. Lou Rowe rebound. Score it. Lou Rowe is relentless on the boards. Strength, though, he gets his guy bodied in. And, of course, the weak side man's over helping out on Camby. And in great position to finish. Oh, averaging close to nine boards a game. UMass. Points off the turnovers, nine to two. Tip, tip, and it's I, good by I, Robinson. I think, Maybe Camby got I think you're right, Dave. But look at that again. The ability to hang and get a good shot off. Mr. Robinson finding another. Eight, cow. eight for Robinson, and as he comes down, Nunez, he tells Nunez, hey, man, you can't hold my shot. Did you sure he said shot? <laughs> yeah, right? But Dia, right outside, and that's good for Deuce. Uh, the, the lovely part about their offense is they stretch, they demand of the opponent's defense. You've got to go out and play them, and all of a sudden, the big guys pound you. Relics has not been able to get off as yet for Western Kentucky. Same for Bourne. He hasn't scored yet. Lou Rowe with another rebound. Well, the inside people have to do some damage to set up the outside game. They're right up on the shooter. Mike Williams missed. Long rebound to Dan. Almost had a nice game. Whoa! Elevation! Strong. Darius. Come back into the hall. Out of Northwestern High School in Detroit, and you see UMass ready to sub in five players. And they can, without losing a lot. Well, they do play hockey in this building, too. Well, one of the things was the thought of a 20-second timeout, and UMass not interested because they want to make it tough physically. Look at how high that pass is. And being a foul on Robinson. Can't be head positioning. And that may be number two, is it? And they will not be the same team without him. And sure the numbers, enough. look at the ability to get out on the floor. A gamble defensively, and you are going to pay for it. This club knows how to finish. Good transition basketball team. Now, if this were not UMass, they would have pressed, double trapped. They're terrific at creating turnovers. 23 a game coming in here today. So that block shot stat. Last year, 105 BLKs for Camden. Him, the fifth freshman in NCAA history to block 100 shots. He was fifth in the nation last year. Well, who are some of those guys he's on the list with, like Morning and Shaquille? Big, big name. I think Tim Duncan's another one, the Wake Forest guy. Good company. Back into the game number 10, Jeff Rogers. And Sean Bradley comes to mind, too. Sure enough. Got to get Bralix off. The runner just missed. Uh, it, it's pretty in a sense you get a free shot. You got to be ready and drill it. Don't shoot a floater. Here's a second group of five here. Can be way outside. A little short. Can make those, though. Horn rebound. 24-20 UMass as we approach the eight-minute mark here at Mullen Center and Amherst Mass. Can be run so easily, doesn't he? I mean, it's just a nice low. Tough shot if he took it. Can be changed of thought there inside. Pretty foot one. Good, good play by Pop Thornton. Given name Isidore, his first bucket of the afternoon. Well, he popped that one with good use of the off foot. Dante Bright goes in, and they get the foul on Pop Thornton. It corrals Princeton Tigers. They're going to be on the deuce again. Lawrence Moulton and the Syracuse Orange in the opposition from the Carrier Dome. That's later on tonight at 8 p.m. And then following that, Lute Olsen and the Arizona Wildcats take on Texas El Paso. 10.30 tonight on the deuce. And that go call has to feel pretty good, Dave. And, and the reason being, his defense has solidified. 
offensively not still getting the shots he wants but that little basket or two going to the goal by robinson that little shot by pop down on the box all of a sudden it's got to help the outside people dante bright out of denbar high school in baltimore not a bad institution a bastion of secondary ed and basketball abilities indeed the smallest guy comes to mind Mudsy, first, but only Tyrone Bogues. 25-22 with 7.49 to go. UMass leads Western Kentucky. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Come on, Matt. Come on. UMass on tap, 26-22. First half action here from Mullen Center. And Bill Raftery, some numbers that we showed you a little bit earlier are pretty interesting, and we're going to follow these up. And important that the backcourt contribute a little for Matt Kilcullum. And right now, still hanging in without getting that kind of response. So Matt's got to be satisfied with the defensive end of things, but offensively getting the guards on track. Pressure, UMass. They're hanging in pretty good. They were down 10-2 in the early going. Western Kentucky, 2-1 overall. UMass, 4-1 coming into this game. And Robinson out the other top net he double clutch he did. challenging he did. every shot. Savicio was in there in the space. Here's Kellogg. A very seasoned UMass team. And they know how to put people away. Very unselfish. Look at the pass back on the reset. Easy goal. Solid. Good maintaining of position by Bright down mm -hmm. on the box. And, and Trevier so dumping it back in too. Keats. I'm sorry, Dave. Silly foul on uh, Kellogg. Yeah, a little nickel dimer, but I'm thinking Robinson now, key time with him resting. You mentioned the two fouls, so trying to steal some time without him. Robert De Niro doesn't look better, huh? <laughs> and right here, harassing, staying up, making him tough on the dribble and on the shot. Fralick's Fra averaging 16 points a game. Can't get arrested right now. Rodgers with the ball, he's averaging 12 points a game. He had that little floater down the lane. He's pretty good at the top of the key. Here's Thornton inside. Got it blocked. Went back up and scored, though. Dingle got the first block, but Pop Thornton stayed with it. Four-point lead for UMass. Find Norval, who came back into the game. Look at this. A little Put back by Derek Kellogg. Well, you may like that in the morning, Kellogg's. Uh, I'd take him at night if I were a coach, too. Before Horn. and after every meal. Horn way outside. Kellogg with a rebound. The co-captain at the Springfield Mass Cathedral High School. And that one got away from Trivieso. You do have to get back, though. They come right back at you. Chris Robinson back in for Western Kentucky. But Kellogg's made himself into a terrific college basketball player. He does not have to get numbers for his team to win, but makes good to sit. A great post passer and a coach on the floor, more importantly. You've seen some teams around the country that could use a guy like him. Right? Who are you thinking of, Michigan? Yeah. Oh, they, if, if they've got good, strong understanding from that spot, how to get others involved, they could be awfully good. Six minutes to go. 30-24 UMass. Robinson to Thornton. Off balance. He'll run it down. He keeps it in. No, he didn't. Not for long did he keep it uh, in. He stepped out of bounds. Uh, they're sneaking in with offensive tips and follows. So that's what's keeping them in the ball game. Deion Jackson back into the game for Western Kentucky. Along with Andre Lewis. Norville leaves. Williams back in. Camby back in. And Dante Bright is in. And Dr. Kel Perry before him, though you mentioned... Matt Kilcullen sent word via Bruiser Flint. Jim, James Flint, the assistant coach, says, hey, you want to use the 20-second timeout? You can use it in non-conference games. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Uh, he's no longer Bruiser, by the way, with that body. He's right. felt looking to give it to James. Knocked off 15 pounds. Almost his college weight at St. Joe's. And Good motion offense now, and the loop to the goal. Camby, he warded off the defense and just rammed it home. Excellent post delivery to wait it for the D to clear on the weak side. Nine points for Marcus Camby, 32-24 UMass. Got to stay in contact now, key time. 
And look at them challenge the perimeter people. You bet. I talked to Darren Horn before the game. He says, man, I expect a physical contest for him. He listened to the scouting report because that's what has happened. Nice hesitation. Should have shot it. I don't know. They got a three second. I thought they got a swipe. Too many turnover by Western Kentucky and Matt Kilcullen out on the court to call a T.O. And a pretty good one, too. He feels it slipping a little bit. 5.06 to go from Amherst, Mass. 32-24, UMass. Stick around. We're back after this. Well, Dave Sims, the things that have, thing that has impressed both of us is the ability of all guys to pass, catch, and how about feeding the post? You think of Cal, look at this. Now, it's over his head. He's 6'6 and change. The hold up and the patience here to let the traffic clear. Send it in, big fella. But an understanding, too. You know, there's only a certain amount that had come by. Let him float, and I'll finish. Turnover story, kind of ugly for Western Kentucky. Hilltoppers get it right back. And they like to force the issue to get their points. Look at this. Danby sends it back with love, too. Affection, soft, and ignites a break. Kept it in play. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of Bill Russell. Not a good look there. Rogers controls. He gets a freebie. Shot it like Guy. That's right. I right. <laughs> didn't do it. He let Will do all the jamming. Former Temple on. great. Great passes of the late 50s in college basketball. Six points for Jeff Rogers. Switching those back screens. Blue road. Good rotation. He's not had that to his game. He's really developed that he the last year and a half. Out, and, and that's because of the dream team, too. Realized how far he had to go to improve in competing against him with the Goodwill team. Approaching the four-minute mark here at Mullen Center. Ooh, right in the jaw. Padilla got one that time from mm. Horn. Get it inside. Contested. That's blocked. Lou Rowe got it. Get it out. That's it. You got a good look for your guard. Look, look at, at the it. recovery, though, huh, Dave? Amazing. The defense. Horn still can't get one. He got hit. Good tip. And rolled in. Deion Jackson finally rescues Western. And they the breakout. Got to get back. Williams. Nice and soft off the glass. They don't let you enjoy your success. You got to turn, sprint, get vision on the basketball, but a great tip to himself by Dion. UMass has made seven of its last eight from the field. Horn with a back screen that was silly. A good, tough kid. One that you don't let the official know. Illegal. Tyrone Weeks coming in 34. Sunday night ESPN Raiders Seahawks. Raiders can finish anywhere from second to eighth in the NFL playoff race in the AFC. Mike Patrick, Joe Theismann, Mark Malone. They've got all the action from the Kingdom in Seattle on Sunday night. Three quarterbacks in the booth, huh? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Mike, the leader of that pack. That was just a little zealous play defensively by Darren Horn. And looking at games, he does an awfully good job for that basketball team. Quality performer, game in and game out. You mentioned 16 points, 43 from three, 54 from field goal range. Good with the ball, four Cam assists. Sorry, though, Camby's starting to remind me when I was watching him a couple weeks ago, the high arching shot. You know, I had seen him last year, but he's starting to remind me of Chief Robert Parrott. Mm -hmm. I mean, the way he gets that ball up, out, he gets it behind the head, he gets it up to real high. Gives it a chance to go down. Sure. Kellogg almost to steal. Rogers, Fralix. Now, these two might be able to turn the corner with the dribble. And they have not gotten many back cuts, and in other games, as the nickel dimer by that Derek. That second mm. or third bump, too, the call. Second foul on Kellogg. Halftime sports smash with Kenny Maine. Scores and highlights. And that three minutes and 11 seconds away on the game clock. Tyrone Weeks. Set out last year, 6'7", 240, sophomore out of Philadelphia's Franklin Learning Center. I could spend years, much less weeks, and not look like that. <laughs> Turn around, Robinson, he got fouled. Now, that was a nice little play. They didn't go to the center on the box. They went to Robinson, who heretofore has done it with the dribble outside or come off a bump. Your Western Kentucky, some things haven't broken well for you, but, you know, as we mentioned nine points. Mm -hmm. Now still within contact. Early on, it could have been worse. Not able to convert things off their defense, though. That's the key. Robinson, 15 points in the last game against Belmont. 
game last Saturday. Belmont number two in the NAIA. 113.79. Hilltoppers were next. All Sunbelt. Sounds like I should have picked them up. Oh, right. Right. Ten points for Robinson. They break the press, does UMass. They break it and usually make you pay, don't they? Attack. Dingle. Let the stroke is good from deep. Dana Dingle. Stepping up. I'm so impressed with his overall game. Nine points for Dingle. Rogers drew a crowd. Pushing that ten-second limit. Rogers gets it over. The pull-up. Oh, brother. Mike Williams. The look. And they break that one up. But he is great. That was the Earl's dom or the Pearl's domain, Earl Monroe. Top of the key in. And, and if anything has changed since the 60s because of Earl, it's taking a guy one-on-one -on -one down the middle. Everybody else wanted on the wing. And this youngster does it beautifully. And that time took a shot for it, but uh, very helpful to get to the line. Where's the same number 10 that Earl Monroe wore in Baltimore when he was a bullet? Now, do you remember what they called them in Philly? Magic. Magic, the original like, magic. And, and the other one was Black, Black Jesus. Jesus. That's right. right? And you, <laughs> you bowed your head then, <laughs> <Yeah>, too? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lessons. Yeah. Come on. The Philly Indian comes out. Yeah, Earl Monroe. He used to come late to uh, summer league games and then score 50. Mm -hmm. Coming to the second half. Mike Williams back in a hurry. He penetrates and loses it. Nice save, huh? Look at these kids. Uh, Matt Kilcullen has thought crazy. Thought he had a possession, and Rowe had it. Lost it. Robinson says, you got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, they, they had a couple of tough little plays on the sideline, but you've got to admire talent that gives it up, like UMass has been doing all year long. Now again, Williams in the backcourt. Get it into Lou Rowe. See the cut through now, Cruz. You want a double nice help late. Sure yeah. was. He went strong in a foul on Darius Hall. Unfortunately, I think that's number two. Is that what you have for Hall? Darius Hall, his second foul. That little late double sometimes has a great effect because your guy has committed to a move just like Lou Rowe did. Lou, the leading scorer for the Minutemen. Just over 20 a game, eight boards a game. Pretty good, good, well team. When you think of Stoudemire, Westbrook, Corey Beck, Allen Henderson, the Chief Parks, Cherokee. Good numbers for Lou Rowe against top 10 opponents during his career. 30 points and just over 11 boards. And he shows up when he, he does. Needs. He does. He, and they call him TV Lou for obvious reasons. He's a prime time performer. And he wants to go into your end of the business, though. Well, it'll be a few more years. <laughs> Frelick's with a three. I know he can outdress me. Western needed that one. 42 35 UMass. Williams right back. Went down and came out. Relix, good look across court. Oh, you got to catch it, right? He had a jam, fortunately. He had jumper this hall. And they are showing some feistiness, though, huh? Yes, indeed, and Cal Perry calls a timeout. But 45 to go first half. 42-37, and the Hilltoppers are really bitten into that UMass lead, which was as much as nine points during the course of this game. And John not really happy because one thing in a couple of their big games, when you think, consider Arkansas number one in the country and Kansas, they did not get back in defensive transition from games high blocks, and it's starting to show. Yeah. And the other thing, psychologically, he knows he's got to get after his guys as he gives the X's. And he's berating, cajoling, coercing right now, and pleading. And now a chance to look at the Kilcullens. This is great. Matt's wife, child. Yeah, Mary Jo, Michael, Brianna, and the mother Eileen. And the Bronx is empty. You bet. And I got the aunt oh. from Ireland, the sister from Dallas, the brother from San Francisco. <laughs> and then way up high in section Q, Q, the rest of the well, Kim the, Cullen group waving that western red towel. And the reason they have them up there are they're known to frequent establishments with neon lights. <laughs> he wanted to be able to coach the team, he said, so he got them up in QQ. And a great story with the red towels, Dave. Uh, Ed Diddle, the late coach, and I happened to play against Western Kentucky. LaSalle had a rivalry in the, I want to say late 60s, but I'd be <laughs> yeah. lying. And Ed Diddle came into the LaSalle locker room. And this was emblematic of his tradition, the red flag. They've carried it on to this day. We had a kid, Joe Carey, and he had a great game against Western Kentucky. Joe 
sitting in the locker room, Diddle came in and handed him his red towel. In those days, that didn't happen. Joe happened to be a black guy from Philly and a wonderful teammate, and it was just such a thrill for everybody, and particularly Joe with his great success. So Diddle goes way back, and the tradition follows. Well, Dia fouled on the tray, and he'll shoot three. All-time wins in NCAA history, and Ed Diddle is right there, number four, Adolph Rupp of Kentucky, Dean Smith, North Carolina, Henry Iba from Oklahoma A&M, by the you, way. And State. That's right. Lee Lee Diddle. And Fog Allen from Kansas. Ron Limbo, who played a little bit at Manhattan. Pretty good darn player. Yes, he was for a long time until Steve Grant broke it in the late mm -hmm. 70s. Was the all-time leading scorer at Manhattan. And you, when you watch yep. UMass here, they've, you've got to be impressed with their depth. I mean, a lot of numbers coming at you with talent. And yet, Western Kentucky able to hang around a little bit. Key is Robinson must not foul in the next minute 30. Right, Kellogg. Fixed seat, Travieso is back in. Yeah, extending the lead. We are talking to Matt earlier. He said the one thing about playing a team like UMass, working for Digger Phelps, you were ready. He had everything covered. It's a great preparation and detail. Got the lead back up to eight points. Good trip to the line by Padilla. Trailix being pounded. Everybody has vision on the ball for you, Masto. This is the one guy that can beat you with the bounce. Rodgers, mm -hmm. that nicely done. Pretty. Can't relax with him. And they got him down on the baseline, too, where you can't identify as easily with help. Yes, a good save on that long pass. Oh, oh, down. He saw that one coming. The and Condor. It, that's exactly right. The Condor. And the great thing was, Hamby with the pass almost threw it away, but then he followed it hard. Sprint. He's got great ability to get down the floor. Crowd back in it. 47-39. Contact, no call. Shot influence. And what do we got? A travel. That's a shame for Western Kentucky because they really competed. It's not easy to get a free one with Marcus. Marcus defensively and then running the floor. That was just great basketball. A nice move here getting Robinson out. You don't want to jeopardize the second half. Final 40 seconds. First half. 47-39. UMass, number five in the country. Road double team. Loose ball. He got it back. The big thing is rebounding. So if they take a shot, you better check out. Everybody should stay at home and put a body on a guy for Western. About a nine-second differential shot clock and game clock. Travieso, good shooter, out front three! Got to push. Ten. Got it down to five seconds. Rogers looking for room and not there. Relix, the runner way outside and no good. So UMass with the late burst in the final minute and change. The lead had been down to six. It's now extended to 11 and can be very productive numbers in the first half. Impressive. 50 to 39, UMass Dave Sims go after him. We'll be back later. Kenny Main Sports Smash coming up. UMass by 11 at halftime here at Mullen Center. Dave Sims and Bill Raftery with you and a pretty good game first half. And uh, Marcus Camby, what did he put his impact on oh, this? He's a lot of fun. They, oh, I man, mentioned Bill special. Russell uh, at the beginning of the show. Here's a kid that can do so many things. We meant his ability to run the floor. Outstanding coordination, whether it's defensively setting something up for his teammates. And it's got the soft hands to lead. The breaks. Great play. This is, this is just, you've got a big kick out of the pass, the catch, and hold on. Send it in. That will be seen all over the country tonight. And part of the dilemma for Western K, their outside guys have not been able to get good looks. The double clutch, the hesitation, the shots change make it very hard for them to get themselves in control of the game. Stats to this point, points off of turnovers, UMass, a four-point edge there, fast break points. How about Western Kentucky, 14-4 there. 
front court scoring, UMass the dominant score there, and back court wise, 13 points for Western Kentucky. And Darren Horn struggling mightily. He has had a hard way to go. 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 3 from long range. Mm. And every one of them's had a hand or a body on him. Western Kentucky will get first crack here in the second half. Robinson very active without the ball. Jingle staying right at home. Kralix, Jackson, Robinson, Horn, and Darius Hall for Western Kentucky. Here's Hall. Oh, banks in home. Nice power move on Lou Rowe. That's refreshing to turn around and know that Marcus Camby is not there. That's right. They might as well go in low right now while he's resting. Eight points for Hall. Rowe trying to get it right back. A little short rebound to Hall. Western Kentucky down by nine. Will screen down on Horn. I thought he was going to get a good look, but good recovery by Williams. Kralix lets it fly, fly from outside, and here's a breakout for UMass. The stolen back by Robinson. Oh. Oh. He's to the floor. There was, and he'll shoot a three. He'll shoot three. Mm. Foul on Dante Bright. Uh, right that, there for Matt Hill Cohen. And Dave, that first trip when they got under 15 was as patient as we've seen them. They didn't rush anything. They got that ball on the duck in in the three second lane. And that time again, the push after the steal ended up with a good luck. The Endman, Nunez, and Norville come in for Rowan Bright for UMass. Michael Frelix. Bust out game the other night against uh, Belmont last Saturday, actually. Seven threes, 28 points, career high. So he's due tonight, Bill. A solid performer runs the show for this team, and they, they were asking him to be a little more vocal with the team this year. Second in scoring last year, led in assists. Real solid all around performer. Not bad from three point as well. English major from Fredonia, Kentucky. Good trip. Lead has been cut down to six. So important to make the free throw for this team because then they can give you a different look, get their defense coordinated. Nunez to Kellogg. Wide open Mike Williams. Lefty, make that the right-handed layup. Thought he was going to go cross court. And that shouldn't happen. The last guy's got basket protection. They forgot all about Michael Williams. Mike Williams, that'll be the shortest shot he takes in a long time. <laughs> he likes the deep one. Minute and a half into the second half here at Amherst. Trying to get that ball down low to Hall without Kim being involved. And not a bad idea either. This time Robinson with the flash. Horn, there you go. Still can't get it done. Norval tipped it out to Kellogg. Look at the use of the hand. Mike Williams, boy, take that back. Two straight layups for Mike Williams. Finding a new area to perform, but a nice lefty dish by Derek Kellogg. Sound, and I'm impressed with that speed by Williams. Indeed, he's got 10 points. Lead at 10 for UMass. Ended up in number five in the country this week. Got away with a curl. Sure Good did. And Robinson drives the paint. Breakout by Williams. Goes up Three. and just missed it. And they're calling for basket interference. Cal Perry, coaching staff. A freer look, huh? Without the tie and collar. But once again, finding Williams. And he did hit it, so it should have been. The staff up in arms. John Robick, Billy Baino. Billy said it's on the deuce. Don't send that application for him. <laughs> Kellogg with a two. Back to 10 point lead for UMass. Four for Kellogg. But Rogers running the point now. Well, you know, see, he had a good look, but he did exactly what he was told to do. Get it in to Jackson. Five oh, and a foul. And here comes Marcus, guaranteed. No. Darius Hall headed block. Lou Rowe and Dante Bright will be coming back in for UMass. And it's Norville, his second foul. And hey, Camby's, Camby's not there. I'm just looking as I said that. And the bench is looking for him, too. Sure enough, Edgar Padan company. 
Looking to their left, where is the 6'11 sophomore? Maybe on assignment. The bench doesn't look as tough without him, does it? We have, not, we have not gotten any word. A couple of bounces. Ball drop for Hall. Marcus Camby, five for eight, 12 points, two blocks first half, and not on the bench as of yet. That Camby watch will be out, and Lou Rowe, you've got to squeeze him. He didn't get the violation, did he? Or no, did he? I don't believe it was Lou. I think it was on the other side. Yeah. It might have been Dingle. So another opportunity for Darius Hall, the phys ed major out of Northwestern High School in Detroit. And a good rebound by Horn. Keeps it alive for Western Kentucky. Rogers. Horn will fire from there. Still can't get one, and a tip back to Rogers. Nicely done by Robinson. And Rogers has been the saving grace for Western Kentucky. Doing a good job on the glass right now. Dingle knocked it away, and a foul by Robinson. Oh, that's a killer for Western Kentucky. And number three, I believe, isn't it? Third foul on Robinson. Chris Robinson in trouble at the 16.54 mark. Marcus Camby, we're told, has an upset stomach. He's back in the training room and hopes to be out shortly. Well, they better have every ingredient available. <laughs> Right. If we were on the bench, we'd be sure, huh? Call the pharmacy. Quickly. Now, 1-3-1 one, one now after the dead ball situation. They have not used this. Of course, the wing shot, and without Camby, you don't have the loop to the box. That diagonal look. Dingle, Bright, Kellogg, Lowe, and Padilla for you, man. And you gotta identify the shooter. Padilla being one right here, Dingle another. Well short. Rebound to Hall. Kellogg knocked it away. Pretty look. Oh, oh, that's Jan Semblero. What a pass by Kellogg. Not snap, crackle, and pop either. 12 point UMass lead. No flare. Just an old time bounce. Robinson had it, lost it. Oh, a miss inside by Deion Jackson. Horn 0 for 8, 0 for 9. Rebound. UMass. Kick it back to Padilla. That forced it a little bit. Comes back up with it and then loses it out of bounds. Time out on the floor. 15.46 to go here in the second half. UMass pushed its lead to 12 over Western Kentucky. Dave Sims, Kellogg, a five-star all-star in the summer. 71 straight starts. They're 51 and 56 and 15, as you mentioned. But the read here, and look at this. I mean, that would get Adolf Rupp. Give me some old-time names. Excited. Big oh, Bogus, Bog Allen. Bog Allen. Oh, absolutely. Standard bounce pass. Nothing showy, but extremely effective. Prince McCracken. Ooh, now you're going back. Old Indiana, great. 15.35 to go. Something you mentioned Hank Iver earlier. Robinson had it blocked. UMass ball. Dingle with the BLK. And this is what makes them so tough. The depth. The confidence in one another. They go 2-3 now. The cutter, Dingle. Ready. That's a good look. Boy, you, they felt that one all the way. This team understands the game. Now, John has not only recruited some talent, he's recruited guys that know how to play. When the defense concentrates on row, they read and get to the spot as Dana Dingle out of St. Raymond's with a terrific understanding, the gut cut, and the completion. Real solid basketball. Bronx born. Dana Dingle. Three point play. Mary the Caesar coach there. They've got another fine team this year, I'm told. Western Kentucky struggling, missing five of its last six from the field. Rogers. Quick shot there, nicely done by Darius Hall. Can't really get a lot out of this defense. They've got to start doing it. That time they did. Hall steal. Get it back to Horn. 
And it's blocked by Padilla. He'll keep going, though. It, it, it won't lack for effort. It's been a struggle, as you've noted. He's had more open looks. I think he was shocked in the last couple of minutes yeah. than he did all first half. Dante Bright, number four, back into the game, as well as Mike Williams for Dana Dingle and Derek Kellogg. All inbounds to Robinson. Oh, Picked off. Great pass. Reading the passing lane by Padilla. Rodgers took it right back. Blocked by Padilla. Inside. Send it back to Robinson. The straight on jumper. No good. Mike Williams. Rebound for UMass. It's a little too wide open right now, I think. Don't you, Dave? Yes, indeed. Dante Bright ran the floor. Rewarded. 63-48. UMass blowing it open right now. Uh, Western Kentucky composure essential. Obviously, a hoop would help. The screen away, and it wasn't read right by Robinson. Rogers fade. Another block by Padilla. Nunez, loose ball. And that one he may have had the fingers clipped on. Look at Lou find people. He's a very unselfish low post guy. Padilla almost another steal. Extraordinary. Getting into the lane. Good cut. And again, you talked about guys being asleep off the ball on that backside. And once again, UMass falls victim. Uh, well, that time, the guards did what they thought was right. They went and matched up on the perimeter. You've got to look at the basket, sneak a look, make sure nobody's cutting or is free. Nice analysis by Western Kentucky. Getting down the floor, only part of it. See, everybody steps up at the foul line. Nobody sneaks a peek at the hole. And right behind the main line out of Northwestern, Darius Hall. Fralix back into the game. Carmelo Trevieso, number 24. Mike Williams will take a seat. Calipari this year has had some tough things happen, particularly the Yankee. You mentioned Michael Williams struggling out of the gate, but academically uh, standing tall when they did the final analysis of his group. Indeed. Austin Globe went after UMass, and then UMass came back not too long after that. Showed that Calipari's crew, the kids that he has brought in, only two haven't graduated. Well, it's do it. I mean, they really can't get involved in the school's decision who to accept. But if they do it, there's no reason to get after them. If I do it, make sure the kids have a chance to graduate and, in fact, do graduate. We've got some changes with the academic structure here. They've got a new academic support counselor with UMass. So they've done some changes. There were some struggling by some of the fellows last year. Story not quite as one-sided as the trade. Get it inside. Here's Dante Bright. Gave it up. Robinson. Trevieso. Will he stop him? No, sir. And a good non-foul, too. Nice play in the open floor. 14 for Chris Robinson. And Western trying to get back. Now you're going to make a lot of gambles in your full court pressure when you're behind by 20 or 15 or 10. But they got themselves right in it now. Maybe a little more solid in the half court would be of assistance. We're just switching all the exchanges down there. Yeah, long rebound to Rogers. He's yeah. got numbers, Fralix. He'll pull up. And he's short. Why not go to the goal, huh? Wide open lane. Why not take it all away and get fouled? And Cal Perry didn't like that last couple of sequences for the Minutemen, so he calls a timeout. 12.39 to go. Ten-point advantage for the Minutemen. We're back to Mullen Center in a moment. One Santa Claus isn't enough for us here in Mullen Center, Bill Raftery. Well, to cover all the spectators. All I want Santa, all I want Santa, all I want Santa. <laughs> my two, my two, my two. Well, a spirited group without Camby and uh, not back on the bench either. He would think inside after a timeout and see if Blue Rogue can touch and find. we will go box to box with him. Camby in the trainer's room with an upset stomach after a monster first half. Down to 10. Picked off. Kellogg gets it back. He's got eight seconds and counting. Dingle, Dante Bright, on the three. Kellogg 
gets it off. And a rebound for Western Kentucky. Major League, huh? That's what he got up? Chris Robinson exploded up. Good knee there by Bright. Oh, cut off the crossover. Oh, Rogers, nice hand to pump and go. And a loose ball after the turnover by Derek Flowers. Should have so. kicked it out. That was a pretty move, though. Rogers to the goal with the kiss. Dave Ryan. No, he didn't get it. Oh, Lou Rowe, you'd like to talk about recognition. When he turns, first thing he does is turn to see what he has. It's right out of the book. Mario, there's Gamby on the bench. And, and Lou Rowe, if there's light, it's got to be bright. He just finds a little crease. And that time of year, too, right? As you go around the country, kids coming down with a flu bug. Or oh, yeah. Fourth foul on Chris Robinson. 11.29 to go, so Western in trouble. Their leading score on the bench. A Warriors mentality, that shot of Lou Rowe as you were chatting, just looking at him. Tentative. Uh, guy Michael Smith from Providence is playing in Sacramento. Yep. Now, Michael didn't have the talent Lou Rowe has, but the same mentality. That's right. And you mentioned him developing a little deeper game, very unselfish down on the box. And I think his personality is infectious with this team. Dante Bright, a couple of free throws. Minus Norville back in. Norville played at Hartgrave Military Academy last year, almost 19 points a game. And Billy Bano just went down to Marcus Camby, and Marcus shook his head. Sure checking to see whether he was able to go. Sure could use him. UMass leading 65-53, approaching 11 minutes left in the ballgame. Eve action by Western Kentucky. They switch it a little with Sal Weave, huh? Kenny Leffler, Tom Gola. Rogers. Nice dish. Sure was. He is tough in that lane. Nice dish and a finish. Deion Jackson. He doesn't glitter like the other uh, Deion but just as effective on that play. Yeah, we didn't have to have the dance and even no. get it to us. No strut. <laughs> One guy that has to get going. Mike Williams lets it rip from up top. A three for Mike Williams who went one for five in the first half from three-point range. Mike Williams has got 13 points. And to conclude that thought, Horn has to get going if Western Kentucky's going to be a factor. Don't you think, Dave? Indeed. He's 0 for 9 from the field on the afternoon. Don't force it. Wait for it to come. They're not leaving him alone, though, you notice? Staying at home on any dump downs. Tough shot. Leaner. A that is something else by Jeff Rogers, who's playing real well off the bench. He had 12 points. He averaged almost 30 points a game in junior college. That shows you why. Fourth in the Juco ranks. And again, oh, Mike Williams feeling another three. He usually saves those for late. 16 for Mike Williams. Lead at 14. And Matt Kilcullen has to stop it. He admonishes his ball club and Jeff Rogers for not putting a hand in the face of Mike Williams. Back to Mullins in a couple. What? Mike Williams getting a lot of free looks here at Mullins Center, and that defense has been shredded. Well, I said Michael Williams with a three, Dave Sims. I said Michael Williams with a three, Dave Sims. He's got range, a little step back, which guys work on, dribble, hop back, knock it down. And for those of you who aren't aware, he generally is the guy who has the ball in close games late and converts. Pretty well, good. Certainly in the latter stages of this game, Mike Williams is heating up. He's four for five in the second half after two for seven in the first half. Got and a travel shot. on Robinson, who's in. He left a few minutes ago with his fourth foul. So Matt Kilcullen got to get some productivity out of his leading score. Well, he's not getting much effect on the weave, and that's the problem. They're terrific individual contained defensive people. They haven't been able to turn the corner. Here's the one three one look. Trying to force a deep one. Watch the glass, too, on a miss. Weak side rebound and becomes a plus for the offense. 
Knocked away, Rogers loose ball, knocked away, and it'll stay right here. Good effort. Sure was. Darius Hall knocked it out of bounds. Dante Bright's gonna come back in from Massachusetts. He'll replace Ines Norman. Seeing Camby on the bench reminds me of Bobby Hurley in Denver against Vegas when he had difficulties at running on and off the floor. That's right. Uh, championship the, game. Not a game of, uh, this is not a game of that magnitude, obviously, but uh, a good call. Dante Bright. He traveled with the ball. A turnover. Unforced. By too. UMass. That's right. And the mumbles. That's what the coach said. Like, <laughs> that son of a. <laughs> And you don't let the kids see or hear. And then you applaud when he looks. Inside, maybe. Guys have not been able to do the damage. Might as well try these two. Hall and Hall. Shake move, two hands. He missed it. Horn with the rebound. Good pump fake. Still. And he gave it up. And numbers for UMass. Williams goes up. Oh. Take it up the glass. We'll score that one, Robinson. 18 points for Mike Williams. And that was not going in, but again, the quick little feet. He's got the pitter-patter as he dribbles himself to ecstasy. Good hustle by Robinson. Maybe judgment lacking. 73-57 for five UMass on top of Western Kentucky. Eight and a half minutes left in the ball game. Give him a good look here, but look at the cover by Williams. Robinson outside, long range. And the loose ball, and it's saved to UMass. At a point gap, Bingles, say hello. 12-4 run for UMass. Off their day, and the jam. They got some water or debris on the floor, but mentioning earlier seeing the floor they're terrific at understanding the game you get the ball look up somebody may be cutting great read by dingle and a very good outlet pass to set it up horn thought he was going to bang it off of kellogg and bright with a baseball pass that's why you practice all sorts of deliveries send it in that's right you campers <laughs> let's work right. on that right the baseball what's throw? he doing making me throw this that's what my kids are <laughs> that's right never that's use right. it again <laughs> that's right if it works at one or two times a year that's enough crowd getting into it and they get the little stop by nunez with the grab and when the crowd gets like this, you've got to be sure it's a good shot. Don't shoot quickly and keep them going. First foul on Nunez. Calipari looking on his club up by 18. Just under eight minutes to go. Robinson, one-on-one -on -one against Williams. Can't roll it in. Loose ball. They got a breakout. Kellogg at Mike Williams, but he'll control it. And Gucci Rowe over there, John, with the slide. Signaling fists. You try and split the middle guy. You get somebody on the post, somebody running the baseline. Jack Pock approaching 10 seconds. Pock on the side of UMass right now. Mike Williams way outside. Short. Rebound to Deion Jackson. And right away, Kellogg up on Rogers. They've got nice matches on the perimeter. That's what makes their defense so tough. They can switch. Tough pass. There was. Loose ball, and here comes UMass again. Look at Norville get down and get set. And Norville with a silly one. Immature. And wipe out. Foul there on Ennis Norville. The freshman. Youthful. Exuberance. Rice, Kansas. Rice House featuring Adam Peaks. Look up, set number three, Kansas. Kansas, of course, with a win over UMass. Shot Vaughn, Greg Ostertag. What's well, something to say about that? Rice and Kansas on the deuce. Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. ESPN2. Holiday, Marie. To the friends, too. The rookie, they got some front line. And they played in the end of this afternoon. Boy, good pass. to the goal play on they're big guys take it away from Darius Hall well, in the schoolyard if you call that foul you'd have to leave chest tied that's right by the guys four fouls on Darius Hall and Billy Baino there chatting right away with Enos Norville 
They started out at Seton Hall with P.J. Colissimo. He learned how to eat and coach. That's right, Stan Lake. They're locked and hung in the air. And it turns out well. They keep going, that's why. Right. Uh, he was dead, you're right, Dave. Robinson, they ran right at him. Oh, Look at the foul. foul from behind, Dante Bright. He thought he had all ball. That was just gorgeous, coordinated defensive effort. The intensity right now, they're so precise. Remember Georgetown in their heyday defensively? They may get back to it this year. Look at all the covers here. You think you're free, you pump fake, bing, somebody comes. Pump again, somebody's there, and good self-control there because Derek Kellogg thought they were going the other way. This is one terrifically deep ball club, the UMass Minutemen. Robinson talked about his arthroscopic surgery on his hip. He's the kind of guy that Western Kentucky will be looking for to take over games at times. He's coming off a 15-point performance against Belmont last Saturday. In violation, they'll get another opportunity. And they were all talking about his big game last year on ESPN against Ball State. And this is a nice-looking player. It, it was a crazy game. Didn't have composure early. Got it back. Let it slip before the half. Let it slip again. Got it back. It was just... Back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, uh, they got it down to eight mm -hmm. earlier in this half. And they're down and down by 18. And they're trying to gamble now, which makes it a tougher out because UMass has a lot of people who catch and deliver. Gellog will punish you for a mistake. And Nunez as they go against the press. Look at that crossover dribble. Good oh. handle. Jimmy Hardaway. Gellog doesn't shoot often, but boy, that one hurts. 80-59. Good as Wheaties, but pretty good for Kellogg. He has that down in six he, minutes. He finally got that one in. He has developed a setback. Horn has just had a nightmare, or a daymare, if you will, because it, he just has not been able to buy one in the foul on Kellogg. Call it a shooting foul. Horn, double major, huh? And he, he plays both ends of the floor, too. Real estate management major. Well, with your money, you'll probably be chatting with him. You will most of mid town Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> now, you alluded to the depth of this team. Let's go. Cal Perry admonishing the crowd. Second time they had to stop play because uh, something was on the floor. One item was thrown right in front of the Western Kentucky bench. I did that when I was coaching, and they threw a fish at me. First time I picked up the mic. I mean, it wasn't like a fisherman's wharf. You pick out the fish, throw it to the guy, and he wraps it up for you to take home? A schuylkill fish, too. <laughs> Been there a long time. <laughs> but the good sportsmanship by John Calipari, getting control of the audience, no sense hurting anybody. Tyrone Weeks with a big rebound for the Minutemen. 80-59. Gets down on the ball, power dribbles through, and gets an easy look. Tyrone Weeks, Dante Bright with the putback. Boy, he's smooth. 82-59. Mm -hmm. If you don't see the number, you think Dingle is bright, don't you? Yeah. With the same style. Obviously, facially, you know right away, but the smoothness in their game. They're very they similar. Free. Dingle's left-handed. That's about mm -hmm. uh, one of the few things that separate. Horn lets it blocked again, and a foul. Dante Bright, boy, he thought he had a block. Well, you can see they have raised their emotional level to take the game to Darren Horn. And he has had good composure, too. A lot of guys would take a lot of bad shots. He's passed up opportunities. And hereafter is when he gets the whack. He has not had many open opportunities. And Dante Bright, much like the rest of his teammates, Values that defensive end of the floor. That's two fouls have been on what he thought were good blocks. The officials thought otherwise. Darren Horn, ouch. He better not be hard on himself because he has competed. And yes, he has. The other end of the floor, he's given everything up. So uh, he better not be, and I don't think he will just looking at games and hearing their coaches. They expect a big year out of him. Here at a Tate's Creek in Lexington, KY. 
67th straight start for Darren Horn as you look at Darius Hall who came back. Horn, two-time academic All-State in high school. And he finally gets one in. He got a free throw to go down. New Mass in command, though, 82-60. Five minutes to go from Mullen Center. Amherst Mass, Dave Sims, and Bill Raffi able to do this with you. Those hoppers go straight up man to man. And use a little clock. It's melt time. Sure is. Four and change. Get a good one late. Kellogg and Williams in the backcourt. Dingle, Bright, and Weeks. Here's Weeks. Well, that, that was a week, two week uh, passing lane they gave up, wasn't it? Sure was. Kellogg with a new shot clock. And they'll pull it back. A lot of heads on the floor for this team. I mean, wise, sage, veteran skill and understanding. For Alex Hall, Robinson, Horn, and Deion Jackson on the floor for Western Kentucky, and they're down by 22. And right now, UMass in the process of putting the scalpel to him. Score that goal to Tyrone Weeks. He didn't get all the way around on that release, did he? Sure didn't. And that's what helps the team grow. Guys coming in that don't get a whole lot of minutes and other guys regaling in their success. Get a look at the Princeton Tigers again on the deuce here. That's coming up tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time, taking on the Syracuse Orangemen in the Carrier Dome, one of the toughest places in America to play. Knocked out. Dana Dingle. Check that. That was Dante Bright. See, you got him. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're, <laughs> you're in my league now. You, you mentioned the Carrier Dome. GW gave them a early comeuppance, and I think it's helped the Cuse. They went for the back door. Dingle started the run. Kellogg saw him, and then Dingle saw that he didn't have to cut it off. Robinson's got four fouls. Major league, huh? Move it to the left, and then hang. Chris Robinson's got 19. He's out of Macon, Georgia, the junior. See, this is a game that makes you a better club, though. If you're Western Kentucky, a uh, little nickel dime, toe touch, Pele job. But you, you've got to analyze it as a player, too, that it's a growth, that you sure. played a terrific team who hasn't had a chance to show off too much here because Princeton's going to take you and control the game. Andre Lewis with the foul. 3.31 to go, 84-62 UMass. Like UMass a 19-5 run over the last eight and a half minutes to open up this 84-62 lead. Dave Simpson, Bill Raftery on the deuce with you this afternoon from Mullen Center in Amherst, Mass. Matt Kilcullen said, you know, a lot of people are going to be wondering, hey, who we'll scheduled this game? And Matt said, well, you know, I put this game on the schedule. You know, I want to recruit New England, recruit New York, get a chance to see the family and everybody, but uh, it's a good indicator of where we have to go. And you, Matt, you made a good point during the break how physical they are. Mike Williams with a big freeze. Uh, that shows you what it does to your team. It wreaks havoc. You've got to go out and contain outside and Exactly, the Lou Rowe and Marcus can't be able to dominate low. This is a very solid basketball team, and this is the end of the floor they've improved, at least from my seat, immensely. Inside, look at that defense, but a foul. They get it on Dante Bright, who got a piece of the ball, but definitely got some body that time. You gotta remember, too, Marcus Camby has not played in this the second half because of an upset stomach, and the lead is at 25. And I'm looking at some of the notes that Matt gave me, as well as you. You know, he was thinking if it comes to our backcourt versus their backcourt, we've got a good chance. Well, they just didn't get the numbers as Marcus Camby can sit and enjoy. Jeff Meyer coming into the game. Jeff Meyer, the 7 2 senior, can be on the bench. Tyrone Weeks, a couple of effective minutes. He takes a seat. Jeff is going to have a BA and an MA, and more importantly, he's got a son by the name of Jacob who he said is going to be bigger than him. He's going to be the agent. That's right. Represent him. He's got a look at Jacob sitting to sitting at the near the uh, UMass bench behind the basket. He's Ten months old, wearing clothes of a two and a half year old. <laughs> that is a large young man. That ball contested for Bright comes out with it. Look at all the lanes filled, too, huh? 
in a hurry. Now, Birch is going to be a terrific player next year. He's going to be run along slowly, understand. He gives them back that speed back there, too, That's right. that he'll be utilized this year. But what a way to learn the game. Nice little smooth shot. Kralik's looking for some help. Got a pick from Thornton. Inside they go, and a score by Darius Hall. Maybe too late. Approaching two minutes to go, and UMass has been in control. Uh, you want to just maintain composure. Western Kentucky with a timeout, I'm sure. Matt was talking about, hey, let's just keep playing. And it is a long year we can learn, and here's a crowd favor with a lefty. And he scores it. Jeff Meyer to the goal, huh? Out of Wausau, Wisconsin. Dante Bright. Bright went down and to get him out of the game quickly and bring in Nunez, Roberto Nunez, number 44. For the minute man. Well, I think Calipari's got it going here. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Tell you what, 11 straight losing seasons before Calipari got here. UMass improve its record to 22-0 as Frelick scores. 22-0 here at Mullen Center. It'll be 37 straight wins on campus. And going back uh, a few years ago, Sean Ford was here. He's now at Cincinnati in the athletic administration. Again, going to the goal, the big fella. Lefty Dana Dingle scores. Oh, they just have a lot of answers. They sure do. And Sean was telling me in those days how good he thought they were going to be here. And like everybody, he said, well, we'll see. What an amazing turnaround. Up and down. Oh, up and down indeed for a program. Calipari's record will go to 134 and 65. Second all time behind Jack Lehman here at UMass. Jack won 217 games. Big time numbers. Number one for a week early on in this season. How about the non-conference, huh? 61 and 26. Well, and his non-conference games this year, I mean, what an impressive look. Arkansas, Kansas, Maryland, Western Kentucky, St. Louis, Penn, Southwest Louisiana, and Louisville. And he will play you at your place. Any place, any time. At two NITs and then bang, 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 bang. Uh, the NCAA. And they got their little run with Merlin, too. You got a chance to be out for some retribution. Cross court, current toss. Matt Kilcullen will get to go back to Springfield, hang out with the family and friends who made the trip up from New York and New North Jersey. It won't be as much fun. You love your mom, but she can't help you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but they, they'll do well. There's a nice, solid basketball team that can go back, get organized, and keep getting better. Curtis put it up there. Tough match today. Well, it's way outside. Knocks a three in. It's been a tough day for him, too. Not as bad as Darren Horn. Lee Backcourt has struggled for Western Kentucky. And also, then you're used to getting points off of turnovers, and all of a sudden you don't get that. It puts a lot of stress on your half-court offense. Oh, easy, don't put it on the floor, big fella. Thornton. And they give it to Robinson. And he knocks it down from there. Final seconds from Mullen Center. Burks tried to leave it for Meyer. Meyer's got to shoot. He's got to shoot. He got it off and missed it. But that will do it. An 80, make that a 91-72 win by the Massachusetts Minutemen. And Go Raptor, pretty impressive showing as they fought off Western Kentucky, which got it down to eight points at one Stepped point. up defensively. They're not going to be easy for anybody this year. They have done a great job. For Bill Raptor, to the final here on the Deuce. We'll see you later.